This week, the music department will have a percussion recital. The hidden shamrock is still hidden in the media center. All the spring sports are now underway. And lots more. Roll intro. This is the Chatter Newscast, coming to you from Rechester High School in Braidwood, Illinois. Welcome to another episode of the Chatter Newscast. We have all the news you need to know about what's going on at Recuster High School for the week of March 14th. Let's go to the headlines. This week during Com Time, the Student Council wanted to help collect donations for Ukrainian refugees. So to make it fun, we are turning it into a Comet Time competition. We will be collecting donations to help aid and relief efforts in Ukraine. Bring your donations to your Comet Time teacher throughout the week. Last day is Friday. Donations will be counted on Friday. The Comet Time with the most donations will get a pizza party the Friday before spring break. We'll be sending our supplies to St. Rose Church in Wilmington where they will be shipped to Poland and Ukraine. If someone you know would like to send a monetary donation, you can contact St. Rose Church directly. Third quarter ends on Monday, March 14th. Also on Monday, there is a board meeting after school at 6.30 p.m. There will be an early dismissal on Wednesday, March 16th. Happy St. Patrick's Day on Thursday. And finally, Jaden Reed's birthday is on Saturday, March 19th. Happy birthday, Jaden. Let's look ahead to upcoming events. Johnston's cap and gown delivery will be Tuesday, March 22nd. Now let's send it over to Guidance Gossip. Hi, I'm Tori. And I'm Gabby. And we have all the latest gossip from Guidance. Extracurricular activities are not simply resume boosters used only to impress college admissions officers, but rather they serve as opportunities for students to explore their interests, hobbies, and talents outside the classroom. Through extracurricular, students may find their passion or call in life, which could lead them down a particular career path or towards a student in a university. However, even if you don't find your chosen career through your extracurriculars, you're going to develop valuable skills through your involvement that may be just as important as the skills you develop in the classroom. Extracurricular activities give students the opportunity to practice collaboration, teamwork, and leadership, as well as to offer innovative and creative solutions to impact the club or group's mission. Students who make the most of their extracurricular involvement will bring something new to the table via new ideas and projects and may rise to leadership positions as they spearhead their group's activities. The Golden Apple Scholarship is for high school seniors planning on pursuing a degree in education. You would receive tuition support up to $23,000. You must be a U.S. citizen and a resident of Illinois. The deadline is April 1, 2022. The cool career of the week is a lawyer. Lawyers advise and represent natural and juristic persons in legal matters. You need to study a number of years, pass the bar exam, and earn your doctoral or professional degree to become a lawyer. The national average salary is $141,000. That's all the gossip we have for you this week. Now let's send it over to Comet Sports. See you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to, to Comet, Comet Sports. Sports. I'm Joey Langham, and let's talk about softball. The varsity season will begin with a road trip to Bradley Bourbonnet High School on Thursday, March 17th. The boys and girls track will have two indoor meets this week. First, on Tuesday, March 15th, they will host TriPoint, Clifton Central, and Hersher from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Then, on Saturday, March 19th, they will host the Comet Classic Invite starting at 10 a.m. in the Fieldhouse. The Lady Comet soccer team will start their season off with two games this week. Monday, March 14th, the team travels to Morris, and on Thursday, March 17th, the girls will be traveling to Kankakee. Both games begin at 4.30. The JV Comets will host their first game of the season on Wednesday, March 16th against Gardner South Wilmington. The varsity baseball players will begin their season next week on Monday, March 21st against Gardner South Wilmington. Let's go Comet! Comet. Hi, I'm Mara, and welcome to the latest Media Center news. This week, we have news about the makerspace and a couple quick reminders. Do you have recycled materials you have no use for anymore? Well, you can give them to Mrs. Can in order to keep the makerspace stocked up. Just bring the materials into Mrs. Can. The book talk board is looking empty these days, and Miss Can would love to spruce it up. Stop by the library for more details. The hidden shamrock is still hidden in the library. 
test your luck and go take a look for various prizes. That's what's going on in the Media Center. And remember, a library is not a luxury, but one of the necessities of life. Monday, March 14th, we will be having cheesy pull-aparts, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Tuesday, March 15th, we will be having hamburgers, chips, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Wednesday, March 16th, we will not be having lunch due to early dismissal. Thursday, March 17th, we will be having moscatoli with meat sauce, breadsticks, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Friday, March 18th is a thing that could somehow be a circle, square, or triangle, has tomato sauce, cheese on the top, and a topping of your choice as long as it's not pineapple along with vegetables, fruit, and milk. I've been trying to write a new pizza joke, but I can't work out the delivery. <laughs> Here is your healthy tip of the week. Let's take another look at the winter self-care ideas bulletin board outside the school counselor's office and pick another category. Let's take a look at the practice gratitude category. Write a thank you note to someone who has made a difference in your life. Write a note or an email to a teacher about how they've influenced your life for the better. Do something kind for a family member without them even asking. Anticipate their needs and meet it before they even ask. Cook a meal or dessert for someone who has been really busy lately. Name three things that changed your life for the better this year. Name three people who have made a positive impact on this year. Find a way to tell them how much they have meant to you. Call a family member or friend you need to catch up with on the phone. Tell them how great it is to hear their voice. Write down, check, and meet all all school deadlines you have coming up, your future self will thank your present self. Thank someone for their friendship. Acknowledge the hard stuff they've been through with you. That'll do it for this week's tip of the week. Stay healthy, Comets! Hi, I'm Jesse. And I'm Jane. And we have the latest scoop on all the clubs and activities. The music department will be honoring the highest scoring solo and ensemble events along with the percussion recital at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, March 16th. Next week, the high school and the middle school band will have a concert on Wednesday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. And the high school middle school choirs will have a concert on Thursday, March 24th. That'll do it for this episode. Keep, Keep on clubbing, Thomas. Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast. We'll be back next week with another brand new episode. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and likes on Facebook and Instagram. Before we go, here's your life's important thing to remember for the week. Honesty is often very hard. The truth is often painful, but the freedom it can bring is worth the trying. See, See you next week. week.